Hello, friends. How you doing today? I hope you're doing well, and I hope that you are encouraged, and I hope that, listen, that you are so fired up for the things of the Lord right now. I, I am so excited. I, I, I've been sharing with you what I believe are the necessities that we need, uh, just some very practical things for what God is doing, and to see that full manifestation of the glory of God for this hour. I, I'm trying my best to encourage you to in inspire you to stir your faith because faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God and to put you in a place of expectation you have never been in. Pastor Rod Parsley, who I used to run with a little bit, used to say something like this. He said, expectation is the breeding ground of miracles. I truly, truly believe that. If you don't expect it, you probably won't see it. I know what some of you are saying, Pastor, I'm listening to you, but I just really don't believe it. Well, you know, then don't worry. You probably won't see anything. If you don't believe it will happen, if you're not expecting it happen, you, you know, it never comes to those who never expect or those who don't have faith. But to us that can and dare to believe what God's word said. I tell you what, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world, but there's one thing certain. This Bible is true and it's unfolding right in front of our eyes. Three things again. Are you hearing what the spirit of the Lord is saying? Are you seeing by the eye of the spirit what God is doing? And the third thing, are you talking about? Are you speaking? Are you speaking by faith what God said? And what God said you could have. You need to be up every day declaring with your mouth what God has said you could walk in. But pastor, there's so much going on uh, around us. Well, you know what? That's true. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 6, there's a story. The prophet Elisha has now stepped into that double portion mantle and he's at Dothan. But the Bible said the king of Assyria was making war against Israel. Now, I want to tell you, in the midst of, of the move of God, you're going to have to expect there's a battle. Right now, there's a lot of stuff going on in this world, from the pandemic to the to the protests and, and stuff in the streets to, to, to the racial issues, to everything that's moving around us. And I believe there's an agenda behind it, even though it's real, even though people are hurting, even though there's injustices or injustices that's got to be dealt with. I believe that God is moving greater than he ever has before, but I believe it is an assignment of the enemy. The Bible said we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities and powers, against rulers of, uh, of darkness, against spiritual wickedness and heavenly places, against the, the spirit of the present age. I believe has rose its head. And just like in the day with Elisha, when he's moving under that double portion anointing, the king of Assyria sets war. And that war comes to distract you from the assignment God has given you. Let me say that again. That battle comes or that war, that warfare comes to distract you from the assignment that God has given you to do. Because if he can get your eyes off of your assignment, if he can get your eyes off of your blessing, if he can get your eyes off of the things of the spirit, he'll put you back in fear. He'll back you up and he'll create delays, if not overthrow you, because that is the intent of what fear wants to do. Matter of fact, the prophet was in the city, a place called Dothan. And he gets up one morning, or his servant does, that's with him, to go out and draw the morning water and get the morning breakfast going. But when he walks out, he said that he looked up on the hills that were around him, and he said the hillsides were filled with the chariots and horsemen of, of, of the Assyrian. And, and the scripture tells us that he runs in, grabs the prophet Elijah, and said, you better get out here, Elisha. You need to see what is going on. And when Elisha walks out, he has a different response than the servant did. Elisha says, there are more with us than there are with them. 
Why? Because he's been seen by the Spirit. He's been declaring what God has been saying. He has been, he has been moving in what the Lord gave him an assignment to do. And he said, now open the eyes of my servant so he can see. And when he opened his eyes, the hills were now filled with the angels of God. I'm telling you, when you see and when you will hear and when you will speak what God says, all of heaven begins to move around you to fulfill the assignment of God. 